They look like footprints you could make today, yet they are more than three million years old. In the quiet heat of an African plain, long before cities, before language, before fire was mastered, something walked across soft volcanic ash, not ran, not crawled, walked, heel down first, toes pushing off, a stride that feels unsettlingly familiar. The year was 1976. The place was Laetoli, in what is now Tanzania. A team of scientists was studying ancient layers of earth following clues left by volcanoes in time when they noticed strange impressions hardened in stone. At first glance, they were easy to dismiss. Erosion can play tricks. Nature loves patterns. But these weren't random. As more ash was carefully brushed away, a trail emerged, step after step, stretching forward like a frozen moment. Each print showed an arch. Each showed toes aligned, not splayed. This was no ape knuckle walking through history. This was upright walking, human-style walking. And that was the problem. At the time, the story of human evolution was neat and comfortable. Big brains came first. Intelligence led the way. Walking upright? That was supposed to come later, much later. But these footprints didn't care about our theories. They were dated to 3.6 million years ago, far earlier than anyone expected. Whoever made them had a small brain, long arms, and a body that still belonged partly to the trees. And yet, on this day, after a distant volcano spread fine ash across the land, they walked forward on two legs like we do now. Even more haunting was what came next. The trail wasn't made by just one individual. There were multiple sets of footprints, walking together, same direction, same pace. One smaller set occasionally stepping into the prints of a larger one, as if following closely behind. In that moment, evolution stopped being abstract. This wasn't a diagram in a textbook. This was a scene, a morning walk after rain, ash still warm, the air heavy, three ancient beings moving through their world, unaware that millions of years later, someone would kneel in the dust and feel a chill run down their spine because those footprints rewrote everything. They told us that walking upright didn't wait for intelligence. It came first, long before tools, long before language, long before us. It was walking that shaped our hands, freed our eyes, and changed how we saw the world. And in a strange way, every step you take today still echoes theirs. If this discovery changed how you see human history, take a moment to like, share, and subscribe. And tell us in the comments which ancient moment amazed you most.